Welcome to the driver's seat. We are standing in front of the 2022 Audi Q7. There's really nothing new about this vehicle. It's been around really since 2015. That's when this second generation came about. Uh, prior to that, uh, there was a, an eight year run of the first generation Audi Q7. And this was really in response to the demand for luxury car buyers to have a three row crossover that was capable. You know, MDX and XC90 kind of invented that segment. And then you had vehicles like the Infiniti J35, which is now the QX60 and, and now the RX350L. And, and it's just a, a plethora of vehicles. But when it comes to German uh, midsize or full-size luxury crossovers, you have Mercedes, BMW, and Audi. And um, to me, this is still one of my favorites. Even though it's aging, it still has the virtual cockpit. It still has a lot of great features. Over the years, this has been offered around the world with three different diesel engines, three different gasoline engines, and three different transmission options. Um, right now in the US, you can get it with a four-cylinder, a 2.0 liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine, or a uh, turbocharged six-cylinder engine. So those are your, your two options. So as you can see, the interior of the Q7 is very familiar. Uh, we first saw this virtual cockpit and this, this whole um, haptic feedback system about four years ago, four or five years ago. So it's it's been around and it's still one of the I don't know, most capable and uh, consistent and stylish systems out there um, it really does everything right as far as the, the vehicle itself god i just even though i've driven it many times in the past uh, i absolutely love it it's it's comfortable it's roomy the audi q7 just does everything right checks all the right boxes for a three-row luxury crossover the acceleration on this vehicle is pretty impressive and you can always put it in sport mode and um, it'll hold the gear longer you have paddle shifters the germans are all about driving and they want comfortable seats speaking of comfortable seats you push the button and as you can see over here you've got various massaging options love this feature especially on long trips that's that's an option i would pay for on any vehicle but um, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know what to say about the Q7. On one hand, I feel like it is such an older aging vehicle that you're buying old technology, you're buying an old design, but it's held up nicely. The virtual cockpit, as mentioned, is still relevant. The, you know, the styling uh, of this vehicle has, uh, has certainly you know, kept up with, with the time. And um, overall, it's just, it's just an easy vehicle to love. It's, uh, I, I could see driving this for four, five, six years without any issues. It's, it's, it really sets, uh, sets you up for a, for a nice, comfortable ride. A, um, a, the, if I had to make some complaints about it, the third row is a little compromised. Uh, it's not the best third row, but, there, but none of the third rows in this segment are, are brilliant in my opinion. Uh, they're not packaged that way. You want a proper third row, then go get a Suburban or, you know, something, uh, the new Toyota Sequoia, for example. But this is really a five-passenger vehicle with the ability to carry passengers six and seven, as long as they're relatively small, mostly kids, uh, for short distances. If you were my friend and said, hey, I'm thinking of buying a Q7, I would just say, try and get the, uh, the best deal you can get. Uh, because it is an aging product. There's rumor there's a new one coming, but you, you can see where Audi is going. Everything now is about e-tron, and I can't imagine the, the next Q7 uh, being out, uh, being announced without some kind of electrification, whether it's plug-in hybrid, minimum plug-in hybrid, and more than likely, it will probably have, um, you know, be, be fully uh, electric, it'll be an e-tron version. I'll just point out the highlights uh, of this vehicle as we're driving around. Starting price just under $60,000. Uh, it really does everything you need, but I'm not gonna lie to you. There are some newer models like the Genesis, for example, the GV70 that is gonna be 
newer and have more bells and whistles, but Audi is, has been a rock star for a long time, especially in this segment. As you can see, the seats are extremely roomy, plenty of shoulder room, headroom. We have the panoramic sunroof and uh, nice proper steering wheel, very, uh, very well put together. All the, all the controls, the fit and finish, the materials, everything is exactly what you would expect from a German luxury vehicle. Uh, I think Audi nailed this when they first came out six, seven years ago. and. It continues to be a, a rock star, but an aging rock star. If you're someone who likes to drive like I do, I tend to steer people towards the German product because they are so uh, solid and they they just really give you that feedback. And you know the, the the Japanese are known more for their quality and reliability, but don't discount the uh, you know the newest luxury brand, which is Genesis. Uh, mainstream luxury brand because they are uh, they're killing it with the with their gv you know gv line of, of vehicles uh and and they're already showing off electric versions so they are not far behind and why not they're they're basically being run as a german car company audi on the other hand is a brand that made a commitment to luxury car buyers in America uh, over a decade ago. And as you, it used to be that Audi dealerships were dueled with Volkswagen dealers. That's how they came about in this country in the early 1970s. Uh, they went to VW dealers and said, hey, would you also like to sell Audis? They never dreamt that 50 years later, that this would be a premier luxury brand, but that is that is what Audi has become. And as a result now, the, the dealerships are standalone stores and so that they're more geared towards luxury car buyers kind of the way Lexus, Infinity, and Acura and others have gone and, and then you know brands like Mercedes-Benz and BMW had to kind of backfill and make up for lost ground uh, because that experience was very important now Audi can also uh, boast that so there you have it um, a really nice uh, three-row luxury crossover uh, that is uh, more than capable for handling you and your family. I'm Ron Doran. Thanks for watching. See you next time on the driver's seat.